Welcome you absolute legends, I am Former Fresh, I am Pete, I am back, and yes, today the mailman has been. It's first impressions time of a new release from Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue Italian Love. Yeah, sorry that was a bit camp, but I don't care. I've got this in now and I wanted to try it out. I have taken it out of the box and I'm taking it out of the packaging because quite honestly, when I see that on fragrance reviews, it drives me potty. So I've just got rid of it because everyone just wants to know what's in here. So I have no idea what it's like. Um, I have an idea that it was similar to Light Brew Forever. Um, I haven't got that at the moment. My mate's got it. I need to get it back off him, but that's fine. That's here now. So this one, I have no idea what it's like. I've not smelled it. I've just pulled it out of the packaging about 30 seconds ago. I'm going to try it on my skin, see what it's like, and I'm going to give you my first impressions, see what I think of it, and I'll give you a bit of a note breakdown as well. So, atomize is good. Okay. Whoa. The grapefruit is there. A little bit sweet. Definitely citrusy. Definitely get that vibe of Italian citruses right there, straight away. It's hands is front there. There's also like undertones of like florals and some muskiness there, and it's definitely got some backbone to it, which is really makes it nice. Okay, so my first impression is it's going to be a great spring summer fragrance. Now, I do actually think this might actually work really well in the fall and winter. Especially when it's cooler, it might be better when it's sharpened up with the coolness of the air. I think this one will work brilliantly then. Yeah, it's a really nice fresh fragrance. It's, it doesn't smell like an out of the shower fragrance, like that sort of fresh. It just smells like citrusy, like um, almost like you're going through a um, orchard of fresh um, lemons and that sort of stuff. And it kind of get that slight uh, woodiness from the trees. It's a really nice scent, actually. I think, so the top is grapefruit and bergamot. Mid of ozonic notes, some violet and cashmere in. And in the base, some patchouli, some musk, some garlic wood, and some vetiver, which I do definitely pick up all that on. So I think, because this is not too expensive, I think this is going to be one of those ones in probably about six months time, it's going to probably start hitting discounters. I think this will probably, so at the moment it's about 60, 65 pounds for a 100 ml bottle, which is, I think is pretty reasonable for the new releases. I think if this waits till discounters, and you probably get to about 45, 40, 45 pounds, I think it's a steal. That price, I have no idea how long performance is, I have no idea how longevity is, I'll do a full review of this in a few days. I've got so many reviews to do, it's not unreal. But this one, I, I was starting to, I was definitely getting a bit more rindy, a little bit more rindy now. But yeah, it's that woods is definitely there and the florals are just gently through it all. I think it's going to be a good release from uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Um, like I said, I need to get my life with forever so I could do it back one-to-one -one of how they work. But as like I said, my mates got it. So for me, I think this is going to be a good release. I think it's going to be something that most of the YouTubers will say it's good for spring, summer, and they'll put it on their reviews. I think, again, I'm going to put it in fall and winter because I just think this is going to work really nicely there. It's probably off with safe. It's definitely going to be a versatile fragrance in that sense. And I think, you know, the only time I wouldn't wear it is probably on date night, unless it's a warm evening, and in which case, I think it'll work magic. So there you go. Right, so there you have it. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love. I think it's going to be an absolute banger, to be honest. I think it's one of the best ones. My set of day, and I went with an absolute banger. I got two compliments today, which is unheard of in my world. I'm going for Rassassi's Hazwas, and this one is just phenomenal. It was I put on my skin at 7 in the morning, and the guy who gave me the compliment was four or four and a half hours later, said he could smell it off me, and I was like, again, yeah, that's this one. And this one lasts and lasts and lasts. It's an absolute beast of a performer. This one, if you can't get Paco Rabanne in Victor's 2016, pick this up instead. It's, it's even better than that one. 
So like I say, let me know if you've had Dolce Gambana Light Blue Italian Love and let me know what you think about it. As always, if you want a top 10 list, a fragrance review or a question, please hit me up. I love trying to help you guys out as much as I humanly can. As always, I'm on Instagram with Fulman Fragrances. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.